What's up guys? This is Tony Shu and today we're going to do another rep Wednesday. Let's get a shoe tube. Before we get into today's video guys, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button. If you have future content, hit the subscribe. Now we did a video a few weeks ago for the Air Yeezy 2 Solar Reds. Today, we have the Air Yeezy 2 Pure Platinum. So just like the Air Yeezy 2 Solar Reds, we have the exact same type of box. It's got the cardboard box with all the Nike brand logos all over the box, front, back, side, all of it. And then we have on the label, it says Air Yeezy 2 NRG. Wolf Gray slash Pure Platinum, and this is a size nine and a half. Again, this is for my buddy who actually got all those sneakers before. He bought a bunch of them, so here we go. Here's the label. Now let's dive into the box, open her up, and wow, these are kind of dope, huh? Let's take a look. Now, I don't know much about the Air Z2, which I think I've told you guys about before, but what I do know is that the most popular famous ones are the Red Octobers, the Solar Reds, and then the Pure Platinum. So this one actually is probably the least popular or least sought after of all of them. But I gotta admit, this is so far my favorite one. It's like a, kind of like a white tint all over. You have the scale here which feels really, really, really nice on the sides here. Whereas I showed you guys the Solar Reds, it was the black panel there with the dragon or snake skin design there. Again, like I talked about before previously, it's got a really, really cool look to it. You know, especially when you look at it from the back, you can really tell from looking at the back, all those cuts that are in here that chances are someone probably cut it individually and spent all that time on making this sneaker and this is cool i mean this this colorway is really slick you know you have the different shades of white you know on the on the i don't know it feels, kind of feels like a rubber or a silicon on the back where the kind of have the dragon's tail kind of it's like a very very muted pure white and then on the scale on the actual dragon scales here it's kind of like a grayish white. So it's kind of got a nice contrast and you have another hit of the of that silicone or rubber here on the Velcro strap. And then you have a different shade of kind of like a grayish white with the suede. And this suede feels really, 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 really nice. This is a very nice soft suede. Not too hairy, it's a very, very thin cut, but it feels really nice. I mean, if you guys take a look here, it's a very, very nice piece of suede. It goes all the way around here on the medial side, here on the cage that the Velcro actually straps around. It's a really, really nice feeling suede. Now, with this one, you also have the same little logo here on the tongue. You have the outsole here with that same glow in the dark material, which I really, really kind of dig that green with the red sock liner here. So really, really cool here on the liner. Instead of having a magenta with the solar red, this is like a pure red, which looks super, super nice when you contrast it with the white gray and then the kind of like the green hue from this from the glow in the dark. So overall, this is really, really, really clean. I mean, wow, looks great. And you also have the little heavy eyelets here made of some kind of metal or heavy plastic or something. Nike air bubble here. The inside, is the same leather feeling insole. Okay, so this one is red. I kind of wish I could, I, could, I could pull this out, but I really want to kind of ruin it for my, my buddy who got this. It has the design of the logo here on the insole. 
as well as the fact that it's a leather insole, which is kind of neat. You know, that's a really, really cool touch. I'm a big fan. I'm a really big fan, guys. And just like with the other pair, it doesn't smell like heavy chemical or glue. It, it smells great. It smells really nice. The only complaint that I have so far that I caught right away, that I caught right away, is that on the right shoe, not on the left one, here on the medial side, where the dragon skin hits this little rubberish, you have some very, very apparent, kind of like a yellowish glue marks. I don't think you guys can tell at all. But it's not the worst thing, and honestly, man, it can happen with any retail pair. You know, let's not get this twisted, guys. Retail pairs do not come perfect. Look at any of your retail pairs. I bet you, you'll be able to find something wrong with it. The little some minute thing that you could see that kind of bothers you, chances are 80% of your shoes have something that bothers you. That's not a perfect piece. That, that's not perfect on your retail pair. So it can happen to anything. I mean, in, in, in this situation, it happens to this one. Now, imagine getting something like this on a retail pair and it's worth five grand. How pissed would you be if that was the case? And again, I bring that up not to say, well, guys, this is a UA, so that's why it has this. No, it could happen with any retail pair. So does it really make that big of a difference? If you like it, it looks great. I don't know. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. If you have this pair, let me know if this pair on the UA side looks any different than your retail pair. For me, this pair feels fantastic. I mean, I, I'm really digging this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really into the uh, Air Yeezy Twos. This is a nice colorway. I really like this. Maybe I'll get it for myself. Who knows? Also, guys, it comes with that bag, just like with the Solar Red one. You have the Nike Sportswear, and then you had that logo that's on the tongue as well, and then on the top here with the string tabs, you have that same thing that's on the laces as well. So, pretty cool. And again, I don't know if anyone's ever gonna use these tabs. Ooh, you know what? I just noticed. So the interior bag of this one, the eyelets for the laces are a gold tint. On the sneaker here, it is a dark kind of metallic gray tint or black tint. So that's somewhere that someone goofed. Unless that's actually what the real pairs are like. I have no idea, honestly. But I'm going to assume this part should match the laces. Oh, well. It's a wrap. Costs nothing compared to a regular retail pair. So can you really complain? Guys, again, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like button. For future content, hit the subscribe. If there's any other shoes you want me to take a look at in terms of UA and reps, let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit me up on Instagram. Let's talk. If some something that I'm really interested in or I might be might be a little interested in, maybe I'll grab it and show it to you guys. Let me know guys. Till next time. See ya.